Good morning, Rav. I have a question about the article. If we translate what's written there to a 10, then I see that I'm incomplete, I'm corrupted, that's one. But I don't erase that because you said yesterday this was given to me by the Creator. So I go above my reason. Now the question is, how is it expressed going above reason? Is this in perception of reality? Is this in relation to the 10? Rav, even though you are corrupted, even though you're so terrible and mean and limited, you still go above that towards the quality of bestowal and towards love of others. Through that, to love of the Creator, you aim yourself in such a way as much as you can. And even though you're shown who are you, what are you, etc., despite of that, you still continue. The Creator created you, so you too can be in that. You said that it's a sensor for determining the reality, so I don't let it influence my reality. I don't have words so, so much. There is a certain attitude towards reality, and I don't let this influence my reality. That's what it means to go above reason. That I discover that I don't care about the friends, that I want to connect with them, and then I don't let it influence my behaviors. Rav. Roy, we'll talk about it in a few more lessons. We are all in such transitions. The most important thing is just to be in it. Let the light do its work on you. That's it. It's good that you're trying this and that, but like he writes here, most important is to annul towards the others, towards the study, and to accept it. It doesn't matter to me what states I'm in, but to accept it upon myself, that is our work here above reason.